What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris, and welcome back to some more of the Cat Lady. In the last episode, we gave Ann Burton some drugs, and then she exchanged it for. Oh, I think. Do we? I don't know if I. Yeah, me neither. What the heck do I do? Is there anything under my pillow now? Like, you know, maybe a tooth fairy came by and gave me some money. She gave me a knife to escape with. All the clocks say different times, which is pretty interesting. Maybe we press the button now, and now that we're Ann Burton, we could get a different set of drugs. I don't know why we'd want a different set of drugs, but I don't know. I feel like that wouldn't really help, right? Well, the only option we got to convince the woman, uh, the, like the secretary that we're Ann Burton is like here, so we could try that. I mean, technically, I should just be able to take the discharge letter and leave. I do have um, Ann Burton's letter. Can you answer, please? Come here. Come here, you. Someone is coming. Gross. T M I. Okay. Let's talk to this woman. Hi. Bell. Is there an emergency? Yes. Um. I press. It. I want to tell. I feel. I just want to remind you that I'm ready I to go. I just wanted to remind you that I'm ready to go home. Oh. Is that so? Yes. Well, guess what? I haven't forgotten. Ah! It takes time. No, it doesn't. Stop I getting lose mad. My job if I don't follow the correct procedures. Okay, that's nice. Why do I bother? It's not like any I of this is real, anyways. Some medication. Okay, well, this gives me this. This gives me the same her? thing, anyways. Are you kidding me? Anne Burton. Anne Burton, born in 1975. Let me just check her name Ben quickly. What's taking different drugs gonna do for me though? Just besides making me more insane. Anne Burton. That's fine. Maybe I'll get a different gene world. I'm just going to check your name band now to confirm that. Huh, I think you got a little confused there, Miss Burton. Good job I spotted this. You wouldn't what? want to get the wrong medication, would you? Here's your sedative and your. Okay, I was gonna say. Those I'm subtitles sure aren't right at all. This weren't you, sweetheart? I'm just going to check your name band now to confirm that. Huh, Why is this all jumbled up? Confused there, Miss Burton. Good job I spotted this. You wouldn't want to get the wrong medication, would you? How come she's Here repeating herself? And your methadone. I'm sure you were waiting for this, weren't you, sweetheart? What the heck was going on there? She repeated herself. That's a good girl. Now drink it down. You'll feel much better. Well. What's this going to accomplish? Nothing. Oh god, now we gotta listen to the screams of the death again. Oh god, go here back we to go. Your room and rest. You'll be able to relax and have Maybe a we can go to sleep. her room now? If it's open? Okay, Sheila. Oh, I'm not controlling this. Oh, there we go. Okay. The door. It's a toilet door. <laughs> That's right it is! Um, is this just the same results? Like, everything seems the same. Can we go in this door? No, we can't. Of course we can't. What about over here? Hi! Can we go this way now? My name's Don Burton. I really want to go home. Oh god, of course we can't! There's a spider heart. And there's the screams of a death. The screams straight from hell. And those footsteps. And they're legitimately creepy noises of everything, really. I guess we're going in here. And I really just want to end this music because it's very scary, actually. Very scary indeed. Can we... Okay, well. Can we do anything with these? Use. I don't need them right now. Sure you do. Uh, me neither. Examine. Okay. Well, this is great. I guess that's not what we do. Just... Yeah, just... do. That's so creepy. Oh my god, her eyes... Holy, she looks dead. Well, I guess I'm just gonna see you guys momentarily because I have no idea what I'm doing. Like, at all. So, see you guys when I figure out what the heck the to do. The drugs have worn off, and but I can't... <gasps> oh! What? I just stuffed gloves down the toilet. Why? Well, I mean, it's gonna overflow now, but I mean, why? There we go. I don't know what that really accomplished. <gasps> oh, you know what? I bet we could distract her now, right? Flush it again. Flush it again! <laughs> okay, um. 
No need to close it up. I'll put the gloves in there. Freeze. Okay. Now, hopefully, we can distract this woman, this crazy woman. There's an emergency! Help! Help! The toilet's overflowing! Help! Okay, get in here. No, maybe. The, and you can use this opportunity to grab Ann Burton's file, and then we can just leave this place Someone's finally. Coming. Okay, that didn't take too long. It only took a few minutes. Wandering around, just trying to figure out what the heck is going on. The bell? There we go. Is there an emergency? Yes, there is, the actually. Oh, no! Oh, well, that's hard yes, it is. Emergency. Don't it say is that. You need to use it urgently, like I do. I need to use it. I, I need to pee. Fine. I'll sort it Don't out. you dare call Jim to do this. Yes, yes, yes. Now run! Oh, it's the gloves again. <laughs> Guess I'll have Who to could have done that? Dirty, since the cleaners called in sick. Lol. Have fun with that. <laughs> no, run! Run! Run faster! Come on, you can run faster than that. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna get to the desk. I'm gonna grab the file, and she's gonna be like, and she's gonna be right behind me and be like, "Hey, you can't take those." The charger, like, take, 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 take. Yes, exactly. I can finally go home. Something's gonna happen. Can I take anything? From here, I really need any of these. I'd rather read a magazine. Okay, well, let's go. Something's Sorry, clearly Mark, gonna happen. I'll let you through. Yes. You need to see a discharge letter from your doctor. What happened to Liz? Yeah. Are you happy now? No. Nope. Yes. That seems. Yes. Fun. Can I just check your name band to confirm? Yes, that you are I did it. Anne Burton. Oh, Heck yes. all right. I didn't realize you knew how to read. There oh you go. snap! Can I go now? Of course. Thank you, Mum. We'll see mm. you soon. I still have a glove, no, though. You won't. Now oh. get out of my way. Yes, you leave. Get out of here, sucker. Bye. Oh, now he's blocking the way in, it seems. Can I talk to them again? No. Okay, that's it. You know what? I want to save here. Just because. Duh. Jim's butt dead. Yeah, he's butt dead. I, I don't know what that means. I was gonna say butt hurt, but that would not have fit at all. It's a storage room. Okay, let's enter. It's locked. I'm okay with this. Now nah, look at all these colorful things. Sam, it's a door to some office. Employees over. That's also locked. I'm scared. Something's gonna eat me. Dime ward. Uh, maternity ward. Can I go this way? Oh my god, that scared me! Holy crap! And I was just I was reading the sign. Susan oh. um, Hi, parasites. Well. Perhaps I am. No. Do you mind if I ask you where you're heading to? I was no. just going for a little walk, stretch my legs, get some fresh air. I'm no, I'm. Oh no! Great. This sucks. Jingle up with the glove. Give it a rest. I'm not going anywhere. Miss Ashworth, please relax. There's Good been God. a mistake. You have been prescribed wrong medication. Oh no. I apologize sincerely on behalf of my team and the hospital. But luckily we managed to spot it on time. We're gonna die. On time. They're gonna stab you me. You have no idea what I've been through. Once again, I'm truly sorry. I promise no more drugs will be given to you. Thank the Lord. I personally guarantee you will have a good, peaceful sleep tonight. Oh no. And you night. can be discharged in the yes! morning. Yes! Why can't I go tonight? I want to go now. Yeah, I would actually prefer I'm to really go right now. I'm sorry, but we can't legally discharge suicidal patients without a full psychiatric assessment. It's too late for it now, but I promise we'll have a chat in my office first thing in the morning, okay? Oh, God. And then you can go home. Is that all right? I wish I had that glass shard still, I guess. I mean, I haven't really, I really got do. much choice, have I? Uh, no. You could run, I believe. Now I'd like to Here ask you, you some questions about your life, Susan. The answer is yes! You might find them very personal, but it's important that you answer me as honestly as possible. Yes, I do like Fine. eating cat poop. It's Let's a problem. Let's get over with then, shall we? I'd like to go home at last. Of course, I understand. So, Susan, let's see. Are you living alone at the moment? We. Oui. I rent a flat. It's quite lonely most of the time there. I live on my own. It suits me just fine. I'll live with a friend. I live on my own. And it suits me just fine. I don't need anyone. Yeah. People mostly bore me. Sometimes they annoy me or upset me. I'm happy with how things are at the moment. 
That'd be so I have lonely. my little bit of space, and it's my own. It's private. I'd like to keep it that way. Well, what do you do for a living? I have no idea. I'm a waitress. I'm I work a in a cafe. Sure. I work in a cafe. You do? Do you like it? Heck yes. It's okay. I don't mind it. It's just a job. It's important to keep busy. I'd advise you get back to work as soon as next week. Yeah. I will. Describe to me what your mornings look like. Well, what is the first thing you do each day? It's normally pretty bright, and I drink strong coffee and smoke on the balcony. I eat breakfast cereal usually. A cup of tea and read newspaper. Um, I lie in bed awake. Can't bring myself to open my eyes. I go to the toilet. Doesn't everyone? I put on TV so I can watch old TV shows. I eat breakfast. I yeah. eat breakfast. That's what I normally do. Cereal usually. Actually, that's not true. I normally watch Excellent. a few YouTube videos. Then a I healthy get up. breakfast at the start of the day is extremely important. Totes my goats. Would you say that you feel safer at home than outside? Uh, I, yeah? Yeah. Doesn't I, I everyone? Suppose. It's not I'd really imagine. about safety. Everyone's house is kind of like their own personal for a castle. Long time now. Really sad, you know? Don't say that. Somehow You're not gonna it let brings go. me down even more when I go out and see all those happy, successful people. It makes me feel more like a failure. If I don't see it, it doesn't hurt that much. What do you think is missing in your life? Or rather, what is one thing that you think would make your life better? Uh, it would be nice to have money, I guess. A good friend, someone I could finally trust. I know it's a silly wish. I was best and better looking. Someone to fight for, you know, a reason to go. A good friend, a sure. Good Let's friend. go with that. Someone I could finally trust. But I can't see anyone will turn up anytime soon. I've become a social hermit. People avoid me. Aww, You'll have to Susan. try to open up a bit. Hopefully the suicide watch worker will work with you on that. Don't think it'll help much. I heard they're not very good. Really? Sorry to hear that. Have you ever attended group oh, therapy ever. for depression or some other form of counseling? Yes, it didn't help much as you can see. No, I'm not sure it's good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. It didn't help much, as you can see. Just I wonder if you'll actually keep me about. if I don't answer these correctly. I can see you're really willing to open up and talk about your issues. That's a positive sign. Yay, I, signs! I haven't really talked about my feelings for a long time. You're doing very well so far. Do you have problems sleeping? Hmm. Rarely. Yes. I sleep well most nights. Yes. If anything, I probably sleep too much. Wow, oh, that could be Would depressing. Would you describe for me how you feel at the moment? Happy! Definitely better than before the accident. I feel like the whole world is against me. I feel... Definitely yeah, let's go with that one. Definitely better than before the accident. Yeah. Good. Hopefully you can now move on from here. Maybe. With a bit of luck, you will enjoy life again. Suicide attempts often have that effect on people. Same as near-death experience. It makes you realize that you're not ready to die yet. Not quite Do you yet. find it hard to concentrate? Mm, no, no, not really. Not really. <laughs> I do, but... Do you drink alcohol, Susan? Mm, only, only sometimes. sometimes. I'd suggest you don't consume any alcohol yeah. at all for a while. Does that sound like something you can do? No. Sure. I'm not a big drinker anyway. Me neither. Sometimes when life gets too much and people feel sad or upset, they think about suicide. You don't do say. Do you often think about suicide? No, of course not. Um, well, I used to think about it sometimes. No, of course not. I don't know what got into me. It's hard to explain why I did it. I must have thought there was no other options left. But I never used to think about it, or plan it. It just... happened. As if I'd suddenly lost control. I knew what I was doing was wrong, and yet I was unable to stop it. Strange, isn't it? Yeah, Please, I guess in your so. own words, try to explain to me 
Why did you really try to take your own life, Susan? Because she was lonely. It was just an impulse. I'm ashamed of it. Nothing was making me happy anymore. I wanted to show everyone how hurt I was. Okay. Nothing I guess that was one. making me happy that anymore. Sounds like the best there fit for her. There wasn't a single thing that would bring a smile to my face. I kept thinking, won't it be better if I just disappear? I've answered half I of tried. these on what like I reflects really me, and the other something. half on what reflects Susan. Took a long bath. Picked up a book. Watch some television, but I just couldn't get into anything. All those things seemed like worthless distractions, and I myself felt obsolete, needless. Oh, no, poor Susan. It just would get worse and worse. By the afternoon, I realized I cried for the past three hours. I, Aww. I didn't even know I'd been crying until I went to the bathroom and saw my face in the mirror. That's actually I looked really like sad. a ghost. I looked like I was dead already, you know? And then I saw the sleeping pills. I thought, why not? And I did it. That's really sad, actually. Do you feel as if you're a burden? Or that life isn't worth living? Mm, Sometimes, I when I feel really low, I just... I used to think everyone would be happier with I'm doing these what I think reflect I Susan more. People don't really care. Besides, than myself. So I no, I don't own. think that. <laughs> Who could I be? If anyone was not wondering. What makes you feel better? Well, my cat's work used to make me happy. Antidepressants really did it for me. A long bath, music, play the panel when feeling down. Uh, my, my cats. cats, I guess. I always put out a bowl of food for the stray cats. They're ever so grateful. I like their company. Meow. What makes you feel worse? People, they bring me down too many times. I hate it when it rains all the time. Noise, too much noise upsets me. Loneliness, I wish I had someone to talk to. It's hard to say, it could be anything. Um, People, they've let me down too many times. I don't know who to trust anymore. I only trust my cats these days. So you say in the that suicide painting in the background is really creepy. Because that's true. I've been stabbed in the back more times than I could count. Have you imagined your funeral and how people will react to your death? That's one thing I've always wondered myself. Um, probably nobody would come anyways. Oh, I never really thought about that. Like, I what would happen? Often. Not if I killed I myself, because I wouldn't ever do that. Guilty. But it's like, what would? What, what if? Again. Probably like, what no if I died? Come. How would the world Mine react? Mine would be one of those graves covered in weeds and dirt. Stuck in the far corner of the cemetery where nobody ever goes. And sad old Susan Ashworth would get forgotten quicker than yesterday's rain. Now, when I think about it, I know that really isn't what I want. Yeah. Finally, I I'd like you to tell me about Eric. What? Eric. Yes, your husband. I huh? believe this might be important. She what has a can husband? You tell me about your relationship. What had happened How did he know that? I, I don't really talk about this. It has nothing to do with them. Can I go home? There's nothing to talk about. It's getting late. Can we talk about something? Uh, there's, she really doesn't want to talk about it. Because that's all the options. This has nothing to do with him. Can I go home now, please? Yeah, it actually probably does. Hmm. Fine. I suppose you've opened enough enough for one day. Okay. Oh, there's another glitch one in the matrix. Question. This is just a formality. But I have to ask. Are you going to do it again? That's a hard one. Don't, I don't know, say that. Hey, I've got it. The answer is no. I'm not. Thank you very much. <laughs> Excellent. There we go. We are nearly done here. Now There's you just, just have to let me touch you. Thing I must clear with you. Because you know he's what a creepy exactly guy. What exactly happened last night? Right. Th well, that's what people were saying earlier. After I'd met you outside the ward yesterday. I went back to my room and fell asleep. I slept really well, considering what happened earlier. But then someone woke me up. Was it Liz? It was the same nurse who was so friendly with me the first night. Uh-oh. She said we needed to talk. Uh-oh. Great. We must go, Susan. You are not safe here. But... Please, you must follow me. Quickly. I don't remember any of this. Oh, that's cool! What? Holy crap, that's actually really neat! 
Um, thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this episode of the Cat Lady, please feel free to leave a like, subscribe if you're already. My name's Curtis, and in the next episode, we'll follow Liz on an adventure to make me escape, but obviously fail because I'm in this office. Um, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace!